Hello, this is Maya. I'm broadcasting out the UK and today's shave video is going to be with Astra Planeta. It's from PAA and it is a very soft soap, almost a cream. So you see, we'll still call it a crop, but it's really on the edge uh, of being a cream. I am using the brush uh, Starcraft, also from PAA. It's the blue one with the grey and white head. And look, this whips up superbly, as in PAA. Star Astra Planeta whips up superbly. And it has a sweet and Mm, spicy florals it's a sweet floral spicy scent it's sort of it's not very strong I'd give it maybe a three or a four it's very pleasant though it is very pleasant indeed so let's get straight into it um, oh this is hot again today hotter than I expected um, what what I must say is when I whipped this up, what I noticed, I'm using, by the way, my vintage style scuttle. When I whipped this up, it took quite a long time to get from froth, proto lather, to a lather. That's what I did notice. I know nothing about the scent description. I have no idea. I was given this sample. Um, oh, and it is quite wet. As you can see, I'm having a bit of a difficulty with this. I hardly use any water. Only what was a bit in the brush. And that's going absolutely everywhere boob lather I haven't had that for a long while yeah so ugh, I've eaten it as well now it goes absolutely everywhere we'll see how it performs I'm using the Bailey which is a Gillette tech replica head as in the head with a long handle uh, it's dissipating too so I don't know I, it's a very wet lather so it won't surprise me if it does dissipate a lot so I better be quick today um, so I'm thinking I should have used maybe A lot more soap or it's has some slip but I must say on the slip side I'm a little bit disappointed because there are other soaps that are cheaper that have far greater slip than this. Right. Uh, did I say I'm using an Astra Green on its fifth and last use in the Bailey? Right. So I might have either used, maybe I should have sh shook this out a bit f more. Let's see. got a tickle in my throat. It was quite windy this morning. Cold wind. It's got to me a little bit. There, so let's go across the grain. 
This has a bit more slip, so maybe after the first appliance. I must say, I think the scent strength is somewhat also disappointing. Because by the time you've had it on for a little bit, it sort of gets very weak. Um, don't know. I know it sounds like a very bad review. <laughs> but I'm just saying as I'm going along with this the first time I'm using it. And this is what I'm getting. So up to now. I'm not too enamoured. It's not a keeper for me. I think I've got other soaps that are a lot cheaper and that provide better. Finding it, you have to work it quite a bit to get it to a consistency. Oh, and it's going everywhere. To a consistency that is actually enjoyable. Against the grain. Sorry, that's my head hair. Okay, the slip is better after the first time, maybe because it's left some slip residue on the skin. Yeah, but not enamoured with the scent strength. I think it's not special enough. has actually a hint of La Toja to it. <clears throat> Even the boots stick as stronger. Yeah, not enamoured with it. I'm sorry guys. That's my opinion. Your mileage may vary. Maybe you have a completely different experience. But I think this one might be overrated. Right. It does leave behind a bit of residue. It's all still quite slippy. I have still quite a lot left in here, but it is super wet, but I didn't use more or less water than I normally do. And I found the lathering process took longer than I, um, I am used to. I'm just putting that into my tub here. Um, <clears throat> So let's see. Let's see if I maybe missed some soap in the bottom there. No, I didn't. I have actually used all of my soap. And you can see it's still quite. Can you see that? It looks almost still like proto lather. It took longer to get it to that stage. So it needs a, quite a bit longer working. I'm just washing out the brush to 
show it to you. I can't remember now what they call this. Not. It's got some fancy name. <laughs> there we go. That one. It's a hybrid knot. It works. It works normally very well on all of my others. So it's not the knot. It's not the brush. It's not the scuttle because this is one of my very first scuttles I got. Yes. If not the first scuttle I got. So it's not the scuttle. So it's definitely the soap. Let me wipe off my face once more. Get rid of the residue. I know it's not the razor or the blade. Well, that's got nothing to do with the lathering anyway. <coughs> Let's wipe off my, dry my face. Let's see. post show feel. I must say also not enamored I am sorry guys I'm this is what I'm getting I think it's quite dry it's quite stringent so I'm putting some toner on I love balancing toner uh, I must say, this is one of the very few soaps I've done a bad review on. The only other one I really don't like was the aloe and maca root, but the scent, mainly because of its scent. Even that worked better than this. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm glad I tried it, but I'm not spending my money on this one. To finish it all off, I'm going to be using the Aloe Gentleman's Pride. That's a non-alcoholic, non-alcoholic, <laughs> non, no alcohol <laughs> lotion balm. <laughs> non-alcoholic, that's a good one. And yeah, this is finishing it off nicely. There we go. So, um, I'm feeling a little bit of a burn, which means the slip definitely wasn't quite there. Because with this super mild razor, with the super, well, with a medium blade in it, medium aggressive blade in it, I shouldn't be feeling this. But I am. So, from that point of view, it does not get a thumbs up from me. Your mileage may vary, however, I'm giving it a. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, so I wouldn't get it unless you're completely enamored with PAA soaps, which might be the case. Then <clears throat> don't listen to me. See you soon and I will be reviewing another PAA soap this week. And it's the awesome juice I also know nothing about apart from that it's out there. I have not watched anybody else's videos or anything on it, so I literally don't know anything about it. I will put the scent profile, I'll look it up, of this one, the Astra Planeta, and maybe have a look also at the ingredients, but this one is not for me, neither in scent, nor slip, nor how it lathers. I'm sorry, so speak to you soon. Bye bye.